Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on Android app development for beginners. In the last video, we have seen the basic overview of Android activity lifecycle. Now, in order to understand uh, this uh, activity lifecycle in a more deeper sense, we will take an example which will show how these uh, activity methods will be called in some order. So in the last video I have shown you in this main activity uh, dot java file there is a method called on create which uh, is called first whenever you launch your application right and I have shown you uh, a diagram like this uh, which shows the order of the calling of this method one by one whenever your activity is launched to activity is running to activity is shut down. So we will try to call all these method one by one and we will see how uh, these method are called in order, right? So what we are going to do is in our main or main activity dot java class we are going to import one more library so import android dot utils dot dot log okay so just uh, add the this um, library and this is just for logging uh, messages to your console here okay so we will log some messages while calling uh, these uh, methods and we will see uh, which method uh, is you know logged first so that we know that this is called first and then other method and then other method and then uh, we will uh, just make a string so public static final then uh, we will name our string so string and the name of the string for example my my tag because we are going to uh, use tags and then we will just name our string something so for example we uh, name our tag as my custom message okay and now to log this what you can do is you can just call log in your on create method so this is my on create method inside my on create method i will write log dot i and then my tag name so my tag name is this one comma the message I want to display so my, I want to display for example I for the first time when it's called I want to call this on create method okay so this is simple uh, you know locking messages whenever this uh, method is called now we want uh, you know every method here so on create on start on resume so you can do the same for every method on create or and then you can just copy this and paste it and then do it for on start so this i have done or i have uh, uh you know written in my blog all the method which you can call on start on a resume on pause on stop all these method which are called here right so that you don't have to you know uh, rewrite this code you can just go to my blog and just see this code and you can copy uh, all the code up till on destroy method and this is the whole uh, code of this java file which i'm using right now here okay so you, you just need to copy this from on start to on destroy okay and all the you know uh, library is imported here log util and this is just the same example i'm going to show you so i'm going to copy this and paste it here in order to save the time 
now once you have uh, copied and pasted all the method these are the method which are same as on create so on create on start on resume on pause which are listed in this diagram right and now what we are going to do is in order to display these messages what we are going to do is first of all uh, uh, go to your activity underscore main xml file and in here in the console you can customize your messages so just go to this uh, little combo box here and just uh, right click or click edit filter configurations and you can uh, use your own configuration for example i want to make my uh, custom message for example or my uh, messages okay so i made my own uh, uh, own uh, message configuration and then i can use the tag here so my tag was my custom message right so in here you can see in this the tag name was my custom message or in my activity you can see the tag name was my custom message right so just go to the same configuration my message and just paste this message in the log tag category okay and just click ok now uh, what we are going to do is we will run our android application once again and you can choose your uh, tag by filtering here so this is my custom message you can choose your custom message from here i will click ok to run the emulator and just choose this uh, tag which you have created here okay so my message was my custom uh, tag and when it runs uh, suddenly it goes so once again choose this uh, my message and let's see what happens whenever you create your or whenever you run your android application so you can see first method which is called is on create method which is this one then on start method then on a resume method in here once again and then slowly whenever you go down then it's called on save instance and then you can see all the methods are called one by one on start on resume on pause right so you can see the sequence of these messages in the same ma manner now once you uh, you know click this button this message will be to destroy the application because it, it's closed and now whenever we want to run our application from here it will we will just click our application name and it will be created okay and when we click this button our application is not uh, destroyed or closed but it's paused okay and you can go to uh, the other application but the last application is not destroyed so it's paused and it's it's stopped last message is paused and stopped but it's not destroyed right so whenever you want to open your application once again you can just uh, go to this application double click this and it's it res resumes itself so it's not uh, created once again but it resumes itself once again you see resume okay so in this way you can uh, play with your app close it and rerun it and see what messages uh, are printed here and this will give you uh, the more clear overview of uh, this uh, these method how they are called and in what sequence they are called so i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now